Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Grand Old Opry Night at the station in Woodstock, New York. And now, in a rare area appearance, the one and only cousin Minnie Pearl. <laughs> Stock, I guess. Well, I am so proud to be here tonight with all you fine people. You're all such good looking people, especially you fellers. You know, I, I like to look at the fellers. Doesn't do me any good, but I do like to look. Yeah. You know, on my way in here, when I was coming in, there was two fellers out there, and they were looking at me, and I was looking at them, and they were looking at me, and I was looking at them, and I was smiling, and they were looking at me, and they were laughing out loud. But, you know, <laughs> that's how it is with a girl from Grinder Switch. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It's true. Yes, yes. Now, I just come up from uh, Grinder Switch. And I had to come through New York City, and I went to a really fine hotel. They booked me into some fancy hotel. So I go up to my room, and I wasn't up there about a minute before I came running down to the desk, and I said to the man, I said, I can't stay in that room. It's indecent. I can't go up there. It's not proper for a girl woman like me. And he said, well, what's the matter, ma'am? And I said, there's a, I looked out the window, and I can see a naked man in the bathtub across the transom there. And he said, well, I don't like that. So he came up to my room, and he looks, and he's looking, and he's looking, and he says, well, I see there's a window over there and I see the shade is up, but I don't see no man in the bathtub. And I said, well, if you stand on that dresser over there and you lean like this. <laughs> well, after I finally got settled in my hotel room, <laughs> thank you very much. After I got settled in my hotel room, I decided I would go for a walk on a beautiful night out in Central Park. I thought, well, this will be nice. So I'm walking along and then this Man comes jumping out at me and he's got a gun. And he points the gun at me and he says, give me your money, lady. And I said, oh, I don't have any money. And he said, give me your money. And then he starts frisking me and he's frisking me all over up and he's frisking me down, he's frisking me all around. And he says, you're right, honey, you don't have any money. I said, but if you do that again, I'll give you a check. <laughs> Tennessee. It's so peaceful and quiet there. The river runs every day, but the train only runs once a week. <laughs> and my uncle, did I have I told you about my uncle Nabob? No. Oh, Uncle Nabob. He's, he's something special. He's kind of a character. He's kind of well known down there in Grinder Switch. Because, you know, he, uh, I wouldn't say he's a failure, but he started at the bottom and he just liked it there. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's married to my Aunt Ambrosia, and, and he said that being married to Aunt Ambrosia was kind of like getting into a tub of hot water. And he says, it's real good when you get in, but after a while, it ain't so hot anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uncle Nabob, you know, he likes to have a little sip now and then, you know, he's kind of, he says it steadies his nerves, and I think it must be so, because I've seen him real steady, like on the floor, you know? <laughs> now, his wife, Aunt Ambrosia, she didn't really care for all of that, so she was going to put a stop to it, and so she said, I'm going to get me one of them funny little masks that the kids have on Halloween, and then I'm going to get me a sheet, and so she does all that, she gets all done up, and she goes out and hides in the bushes one night when Uncle Nabob was out doing his business and so Uncle Nabob comes kind of winding home and kind of winding and wiggling and winding his way home and she jumps out of the bushes and she goes boo I'm the devil and he said well pleased to meet you sir we're kinfolk I'm married to your sister <laughs> person in uh, Grinder Switch, Granny Hawkins. Now, she's probably 112, but nobody knows for sure on account of nobody was around when she was born, so nobody knows. So anyway, she's, uh, the, she's perfectly healthy, 112, and she's digging ditches and shucking corn and all that stuff. So the doctor likes to go to visit her just to kind of see the wonders of the world there and see what she's about. So he says, he says, Granny, how are you doing? She says, I'm fine, I'm fine. He says, are you sick? She says, no, I'm never sick. 
And he said, have you ever been bedridden? <laughs> Granny said, sure, hundreds of times, and twice in a truck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.